X-Wing fighter here. Oh, sorry. Guess the guy's supposed to do a, uh, a video here, but we'll get to it in a second. Well, this is the beginning of the, uh, the astronomy series, or how to feel like a tiny ant on a giant molehill. A oh, picture of Earth from Voyager 1, still floating around out there. Uh, you can see the Earth has a tiny dot there. Let's see, what is astronomy? Uh, you'll notice in the, uh, in the Moodle it's called cosmo cosmology also. But it's the study of everything beyond the Earth's atmosphere. And the study from our solar system to other galaxies. We'll be taking a look at from the sun all the way into our galaxy and beyond. Some, uh, you know, some of the original astronomers, you know, anybody that looked up at the sky at night, you know, Native Americans, Egyptians, the Chinese, uh, the uh, the nomads in North North Africa, the Bedouins were were quite the astronomers also. You know, wasn't uncommon for man to go look up at the sky and uh, wonder what's going on out there. All uh, the Golden Age, Greece, uh, all the constellation names, uh, you know, Zeus, Mars. Oh, Mars is actually Roman, but but Jupiter and those, uh, you know, a lot of Orion the Hunter. All those things come from the uh, ancient Greece, Greek uh, mythology. Aristotle, way back in the, uh, the BC days, actually showed that the Earth is round. Eratosthenes, uh, he actually estimated the circumference of the Earth. Well, you, there's really the old model, or the Ptolemaic, was a geocentric model, where the Earth was the center of everything. And, you know, if you think about it, not too, you know, kind of what you would expect, you know. Man would think he's at the center of everything, and everything revolves around him. At the time, we really didn't know, know any better. So, you know, you're looking at the Ptolemaic model, you're looking about 100, 150 A.D. <laughs> Well, the heliocentric, or sun-centered, really started with Nicholas Copernicus around the year 1500, that the Earth and the rest of the planets revolve around the sun. And you can see these are actually the signs of the zodiac right around here. I'm actually a Taurus the Bull. Another big-time uh, astronomer that really got us on the right track was Galileo Galilei. True or false, Galileo developed the law of gravity explaining that the force that holds the planets in their orbits. That was false. He did not do that. We're going to look at Kepler and Isaac Newton. Galileo invented the telescope. That is false also. A Dutch lens maker made the first telescope.
Galileo is really the first person to use a uh, looking glass to or a telescope to study the night sky. And he never saw one, but he did make his own using a couple. Really, you think about it, he's, he's using a convex lens. As we learned about in the previous section, convex lens will do magnification. Uh, Newton, we went over quite a bit. Newton's three laws of motion, uh, the law of gravitation. Uh, this is you know, a real quick review. Response for holding the planets in their orbits around the sun. We didn't talk too much about the the planets, but we will, especially when we get in, we get into Kepler. Kepler's uh, laws of planetary motion. And as we know, the force of gravity decreases with distance, but increases with mass. And you guys actually did a computer simulation about that. And uh, the planets orbit the sun in elliptical, not circular orbits. We're going to do a couple labs in physical in the physical science classes uh, demonstrating this fact. A uh, couple things you need to know: rotation to spin on your axis. A revolution is an orbit. Kids will get this confused on the test all the time. When you rotate, you rotate on an axis and you revolve around the sun. And one revolution is a year. Here it says what are the two types of motion all bodies in space experience? Well, things rotate or spin on their axis. And the common question is, you know, how fast does the Earth rotate? About 600 miles per hour. If you want, you can go ahead and calculate that in uh, kilometers per hour. How long does it take to complete one rotation? Well, it should be about one day or 24 hours, as you would expect. What effect do we experience on Earth due to its rotation? Well, you think about it, when we go through one rotation, you know, we go through day and night. Uh, revolve to circle another object. And how fast... Do you think the Earth orbits or revolves around the sun? About 65,000 miles per hour. And the effects of the Earth as it revolves around the sun? Well, we get to see different constellations, and it's really the changing of the seasons. The seasons changing are due to the tilt of the Earth's axis, not the distance from the sun. And again, this slide shows that because the Earth is tilted. During our summer, we are tilted towards the sun, and during our winter, we are tilted away. We just went through the autumnal equinox, and the northern hemisphere is now starting to tilt away from the sun.